Well, I managed to get out a run after a few rabbits with the BSA Super 10 before the time change there lately in the UK. Starting off at my usual place, I scanned the fields in front of me and spotted this rabbit up in the far corner. So I decided to uh, stalk round to the other gateway and uh, hopefully manage to stalk into him. Unfortunately, there was nothing at the gateway this time. Since it's darker a lot earlier these nights, a lot of the rabbits aren't out yet. But after making sure the rifle was safe, I climbed the gateway and headed down the field. Now the rabbit I'm hoping to stalk into is in this field on the right, up in the top corner there, along the tall hedge. But I have noticed a rabbit the other side of that tree, along the far hedgerow. He's sitting just there, with his back to me. Now, I know that there's a lot of open ground between me and the rabbit, but my plan is to use the tree at the base of the valley to cover my approach downhill. Then, once in the valley, use the contour of the rising ground in front of me to cover my approach uphill towards the rabbits and so far it seems to be working as I've managed to get myself within range of the rabbit. I slowly set the rifle up on the shooting sticks and get myself into a comfortable kneeling position. Yep, he's still there, but there's a second one just a few yards to his right. They're both about 35 yards away. The first one's sitting at a bit of an awkward angle and I can't really get a clear shot at his head. The second one's not much better, but then he turns to offer a nice side view to me. So I'll give him a wee squeak to get him to raise his head up out of the grass. and drop them nicely. Reload and swing on to the second rabbit, which is about to clear off, but he offers me a nice clean shot at the back of his head, just at the base of his ears. The two rabbits aren't much more than, what, three paces apart. The first rabbits hit maybe a little low, but still a good clean kill. And I'll just give his belly a wee squeeze before I walk over to the second rabbit. Second rabbit was hit nicely in the back of the head below the ears and I think the pellet penetrated straight through and out the forehead. So again I'll give his belly a wee squeeze to get rid of any of the urine before I put them both into the game bag. Then I'll work my way through this minefield of cow pats. Now the original rabbit I was stalking had cleared off by this time. It wasn't too far away from where I was taking the shots so it probably heard them and cleared off. So I decided to head back the way I came and try another field. Now this field here has a bit of a kink in the hedgerow, a bit of a dog's hind leg we would say. But if I can stalk up to that large post there and keep round the corner to see if there's any rabbits sitting. Yep, sure enough, there's one sitting at the edge of the hedge, about 25 yards away. Now, since the hedge is thicker at the top than the bottom, I decided to lie down prone and try and edge my way out to take the shot, because if I stayed on my feet, 
and tried to lean out over the hedge, the rabbit would see my feet long before I would ever get a clear shot by the bushes. So slowly easing my way out with a rifle ready mounted, I got into position. The rabbit was just about visible. I think he probably thought I couldn't see him, but I could just about fit the pellet between the grass and the branch there and took him nicely. Another nice clean headshot. You can see the thick blood coming from the ears, showing that the brain has been destroyed. This one's got a fairly uh, big bladder as it takes a while for me to squeeze his belly out. Then I give him a wee flick or two to try and get rid of that blood out of his ears before I put him into the game bag. I gave my hands a wee wipe with the grass. I don't like handling the rifle or anything with blood in my hands because it gets everything all sticky. Now you can see the, the sun behind me has dropped quite a bit. The light is going. I'm slowly making my way along this old cow path down here. When I think I spot something moving in front of me. I think that was a rabbit. Yes, there's one there, just at the edge of those thistles. So I lower myself down since he's just the, the other side of that little rise and try and get as close as possible as I can because I'm going to have to take a freehand standing shot and the closer you can get, the easier it will be to make the shot. get myself within about 25 yards of the rabbit, raise the rifle up for the shot. The rabbit seen the movement but stopped just short of the hedgerow. I finally remember the slide the safety catch off, line up and take the shot, rolling the rabbit over into the weeds. It was another nice clean headshot. That was a good size of our rabbit. He thought he was safe where he was, just one bound away from being safe into the hedgerow there. Well, the lights about bait me, so I decide to head back the way I've come. Next home. But I've got four rabbits in the bag and quite a nice autumn evening.